My name is Khalid Hussein. I am 24 years old. Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with COVID-19, and to this day, I am still dealing with lasting effects from the disease. At the young age of 24, you would think getting COVID-19 would be a walk in the park. And for most of us, it is. We have three or four days of mild to moderate symptoms and we get over it. But it's getting over it. Is it really getting over it immediately? I know for myself that I was left with some lung damage that we thought at the time was permanent. And thankfully, as of my last checkup, has recovered. But some days I would wake up with a lack of smell a muted taste and for those who haven't gone through the virus and experienced those symptoms it is something that's unexpectedly sad about it because us in the Caribbean we love our food we love our flavors we love the taste and losing that overnight is something that's terrifying and then having to deal with that long-lasting uncertainty of when will it finally retain to a hundred percent it's something that affects your psyche somewhat. Now, with this new variant spreading in Trinidad and Tobago, we are starting to see more severe cases in younger people. You would have heard our top medical professionals in the country say this multiple times at their multiple press conferences. So as a young person, I strongly advise if you can, stay home as best as you can. Uh, also, if you do have to head out, wear your mask, sanitize, social distance. You know, those are the three biggest ways we can combat uh, this virus and prevent it from spreading, especially if you have to interact with people in the higher risk groups like those with comorbidities and the elderly. I was hesitant about the vaccine. So to alleviate my fears, I spoke to my doctors, spoke to people, medical professionals, who were able to put some clarity to my fears, my concerns, and eventually I got the COVID-19 vaccine, the AstraZeneca vaccine. And I would recommend anybody, if you are uncertain about getting the vaccine, speak to a medical professional. I survived COVID-19, but I'm still dealing with lasting damage. COVID-19 is a very real disease, and thankfully I only had a mild to moderate case but it could have been so much worse. Together, we can stop the spread of this disease.